It's the most magical time of the year and I am going to talk about my favorite holiday traditions that we celebrate in Ukiah, California. Kicking it off with number one, the store that's open all year round, but most importantly in December, the Christmas Dreams and Gifts store. At any time of the year, you can hop into this store and your mind will explode with the endless ornament opportunities and um, Christmas dreams. I am starting a new tradition this year now that my one of my daughters is old enough to have an opinion, which she very much has. Um, and taking her to get her own ornament each year is going to be a fun little way to shop small and support our community and just have a fun little nostalgic place to visit. They've been family owned and operated for over 25 years and I hope to see them open another 25. Next up, the first Saturday of the month, we have the light parade, which is typically the tipping off point for the tree lighting, which happens after the parade and the skating ice skating rink opening. So the light parade happens every first Saturday of December in Ukiah. It goes from the fairgrounds to Clay Street on State Street. It is super fun, whether you're a business participating and having your family ride around through the parade, or if you visit my office to have some hot cocoa and stay warm before going out in the dark cold weather. This year it was raining, but it did not stop the crowds. And um, every year it just gets more and more magical. So the light parade is one of the faves. The tree lighting happens right after the light parade. Santa gets off of the fire truck at the end of the parade and goes and turns on the tree lights in the plaza and it is just a such a special time of year. The plaza is fully decorated with gingerbread houses and all sorts of fun stuff and the ice skating rink which was originally brought here by Adventist Health continues to stay and be operated by the city of Ukiah and it is so magical for one in entire month and part of January usually um, to have a fun activity for our kids. So make sure to take yours and support um, our small, our wonderful skating rink. Next up on the list is the trolley. The trolley is a free, it's decorated with Christmas lights. It's kind of cozy and it goes all around town, different stops. It probably takes about an hour depending on where you park and stop if you're going full in the full circle. But there is a map I will post down below and it is a wonderful, fun little tradition to do. You could have someone park their car at the Pear Tree Center and someone pick those people up and stop at downtown and hop on downtown and then get off at the Pear Tree Center. But it's a wonderful ride and definitely if you have big kids, super fun to just go and see all the town. Talking about rides, we are on to the skunk train and the magical Christmas tree. From Willits, you can ride the skunk train to go see a magical Christmas tree. They sing Christmas carols, have hot chocolate and popcorn for sale on the train. And um, it's just a fun little ride. If you you are going make sure to bundle up there are windows that can go up and down and sometimes if your neighbor decides to open their window it can be a bit chilly but it is a fun little ride and you don't get out of the train the pumpkin train was a little bit more fun for the little kids because you were able to get out and go pick a pumpkin but the holiday train I think is a fun one to do like every five ish years every three ish years it's just definitely a fun little ride but is definitely a trek and all you're doing is sitting on a train which is fun but it's not it's fun <laughs> um next up is santa photos obviously you gotta get them done you gotta stay local the triple s is wonderful for santa photos if you get an additional opportunity i also really love red valley fire department's santa setup and gather events will be doing santa photos this year so make sure to i'll link it down below once i have that info but there are lots of options santa locally so support your local santas Next up is our tree farms. So whether you're going to a tree lot like Elliot's or the Red Valley Fire Department, it is a magical experience. At Elliot's, they have free hot chocolate, coffee, popcorn, 
um, some other things. You can go pick out a tree. It just smells so wonderful. Even if you have a fake tree that's been up since November, you can go take a look. <laughs> they have a fire and it's super fun to go stop by. And then if you want to cut down your own tree, you can go to Nelson's. They provide the ax and the lot and you get to pick the size that you desire and go chop it down yourself. And if you want to get really outdoorsy, you can get a tree cutting permit from the Mendocino Forest. And for just $10, you can go drive and cut down your own tree. You do have to bring your own chopping devices, so be aware of that. Um, and you're headed into the forest, so depending on whether you might need to make sure you have four-wheel drive and something to take the tree down in, <laughs> but nonetheless, you can do it. The newest tra tradition that I'm starting for the for the gals, for the moms, for the, the girlies who work real hard all year is the Women in Business Gala. So it's just a fun way to get dressed up, to not have to worry about who you need to impress or not impress. You just get your glam on, like no too much glam is not enough glam in this situation. So if you are a gal watching this, make sure to grab your ticket and join us at the Women in Business Gala. Thank you so much for watching and I hope your holidays are magical and there's a lot of other tra traditions that I could talk about but that we would be here all day. So Ukiah is a magical place. If you live here, make sure to be involved. Thank you so much for watching. This is Casey Gray, uh, Holiday Transition Traditions Channel 4. Make sure to subscribe and like. And I literally just need caffeine so bad I didn't even drink all my coffee and I haven't even had a Red Bull yet. And it's already 10 o'clock and I have to be back to my house by 12 o'clock. And I 